Hey everybody, got a little bit of a cold or flu or something today, so my uh, this video is going to be a little rough, but when are my videos not rough, right? Anyway, this is a Chrome box running a non-Chrome box power supply to Toshiba. It's a little overpowered, but that's a good thing. Over, better overpowered than underpowered, right? So this is a chrome box. Let's see if we can get the bottom of it showing here. Get it out. Of course, it's gotta be upside down. Well, we'll just read it upside down. It's a chrome box, Asus. Chrome box three, that's what we're gonna call it. Chrome box three. Model, doesn't give me a model number. I don't see anything. Huh. You see a number in there. I think I have, I think I figured out what it is, but, um, <clears throat> where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there was a number on here. <laughs> it's a client model from box three. I don't see anything else. Okay. I want to spend my whole time looking, staring at that. Um, anyway, this thing is a Chromebox that I ran across today at the old thrift store. And I took a chance on it because it was five bucks. And I figured, well, maybe it needs like, you know, some RAM. Maybe it needs something. I know you can get rid of the Chrome OS and install Linux. So of course, that's what I had to do. But surprisingly, what was nice is whoever donated this Chrome box to my thrift store was nice enough to already have installed Mr. Chrome, Mr. Chrome, Mr. Chromebook, is that what it is? The, um, they removed the screw and they installed the firmware. So it didn't have Chrome OS on it. It just had like the Mr. Chrome box, Mr. Chromebook, whatever is, whatever the thing is. And so, and it still had everything in it. It had, it had and we can see here, it says 7.7 .7 gigabytes but actual memory is eight in actuality and looking at the ssd 30 gig so you know 32 right it's always going to be that little bit amount so yeah so this is kind of ideal for running like a something like this which is my i went with the old xf CE and it is running one of the latest versions of Mint 22.1. So yeah, there you go guys. It's got an, it's got the old the i3 7100 with um, I'm assuming the four means four is that four cores? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, running at 2.4 gigahertz and, um, yeah, there you go. Very nice, right? So yeah, you know, and, and a full basic install of the OS takes up about 9.6 gigabytes. So in reality, you know, you got lots of space to install more. The good thing about this thing is it has, it has an SD micro SD card there you go it's a seventh generation i3 it's got HDMI it's got like five USB ports which is actually a lot it's got front audio light indicator for power let's go around the back here uh, we got the heat vent don't feel any heat coming from it Excuse me. We got, we got gigabit ethernet. 
like I said, three three ports uh, for USB, <clears throat> HDMI. We got a US, uh, USB-C, nice. So, and of course the power jack. So yeah, what can I tell you? This thing is a nice little mini PC. And for five bucks, how can you go wrong, right? For the eight, eight gigabytes of memory and a little 32 gigabyte SSD. I was pretty happy with that. And somebody even cracked the BIOS and everything or whatever they want to call it. UF, U, what is it? I can't remember the name of it. The, the, the firmware. Uh, yeah, so very happy with that. I'm not going to try and show you it running um, YouTube because I can guarantee you with the kind of specs it has, it will run YouTube very nicely. Let me say that. So I'm very happy with this find because first of all, I didn't, I oftentimes, like there have been times I've uh, gotten stuff from me you know, the thrift store and it's been like raped of all the parts. So I wasn't expecting much. I thought for five bucks, I'll take a chance. And I'm happy I did. There you go. That's the Chrome box. It's a CN65 and T, I'm assuming Timo is the, <coughs> is that the code name for the box or is that the Mr. Chrome box firmware? I don't know. Apparently they did it back in 2024, maybe about a year ago. <laughs> Played around with it, I guess, for a while and then gave up on it. I had um, two attempts to install something else. I don't know if they ever got anything installed in this. I'm not sure, but there was nothing in, on the system when I got it. So I don't know if they had trouble with it or what. But anyway, it was easy enough to install Linux Mint on with uh, the old, uh, it just has to have the um, latest type installer. Yeah, there you go, Current, there's the core. i3 and the RAM. Yep, there's nothing really else to say about it. It's, you know, you know these little Chrome boxes. Is there anything in the menu? See, nothing. Oh, you got to. So that's must be, this must be, they must be seeing, must be seeing, um, that's what it is. It's seeing, it must be seeing, uh, Mint as Ubuntu, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. So there's me, my options, my boot options. And that's pretty much it, guys. So that's going to be, that's going to be my very basic That's going to be my very basic uh, rundown of this new little Chromebook, Chromebox that I found. I have another one. It's an Acer, and it's much less power than this. And it's got like just like a real basic sort of uh, processor in it. This thing actually honestly could handle probably Windows 10. It had a better um, SSD but because it doesn't. It'll be keeping, it'll be keeping Linux on it. And I don't have a lot of, I don't have too many good Linux boxes around these days. So usually I just do virtual machines for Linux, but, <coughs> excuse me, looks like this is going to be, it's going to be my Linux box. So there you go, guys. There's a uh, story of my thrifting adventure this today and I guess we'll talk to you later hopefully I'll get over this flu pretty quick but you know the show must go on whenever we find something at the thrift store we gotta always like show it off so there you go guys I'll talk to you in the next one